Thanks to you, 2022 was an amazing year for Simple Germany and our channel. In this video, we would like to do a recap of 2022 and share some juicy projects we have planned for 2023. So let's start first with our look back into 2022. And that started, well, to be honest, it started like in just before Christmas 2021 <laughs> with uh, the first time that we got stopped by you on the streets. And that just literally continued throughout 2022. And we want to say thank you. Um, it was a little bit awkward in the beginning. Sorry for that. Uh, because, I mean, you know, it's like, um, hi, I was like, hello. <laughs> but I hope um, that we have become a little better at uh, having a conversation with you and learning a little bit about your story. So thanks a lot for sharing that with us and for um, stopping us because we really appreciate it to also see the impact that we're having, to see your smiley faces, your kind words and your gratefulness because we are actually grateful for you. And it's beautiful <laughs> to see how grateful you are also for what we are doing. Yeah. So if you see us on the street and you want to stop and say hi, please don't be shy. We love to say hi to you as well. Also in 2022, we had our very first live event and that was our first ever meetup in Dusseldorf. Wow, I am still flabbergasted by the A number of uh, amount of people that showed up and B the nationalities. We were in total 29 people out of 19 different countries. That is super crazy. And to be uh, more specific, those 19 different countries were pretty much all outside of Europe. So that was even more amazing to see how the world comes together, um, how kind and, and warm uh, everyone was. Uh, it was really, really beautiful. Yes, so stay tuned for 2023. We have more information about possibly more live events. Also, our community member's name, The Smoothlers, was born. We were looking for a name. We thought we need a name for ourselves and our community members. And there was a little bit of a race between the smoothies and the smoothers. <laughs> but we, at the end of the day, decided for the smoothers. Yes, just because that is a combination of smooth settlers. Ah, you see a trend there. Of course, we like the word smooth and smoothly in our videos. <laughs> and notice. <laughs> and I think that's what we all want to be at the end of the day, right? A smooth settler, someone that feels integrated and feels happy in Germany. Uh, despite the cultural differences. Yeah. We also had our very first live streams this year. Wow, we had two in total. To be honest, it took some time and uh, courage to actually do it because um, A, we, you see so many YouTubers saying like they have so many technical difficulties and then you don't know how to do it, but it, we pulled through and we did it and it was actually a lot of fun. It was super much fun. So much so that the hour just rushed by yes. the, the two times we did. Yeah. Totally, yeah. And so the first time we did it on a Monday. The second one was on Sunday, which this allowed hopefully a lot more of you to hang out with us. And then we have a third live stream planned for this year and that is kind of like the end of the year live stream slash Christmas if you celebrate it but we can just say the end of the year live stream that's going to be on December 18th so next Monday yeah. uh, Sunday. Sunday it's a Sunday so on the Monday we are not going to release a video and then we go into Christmas break and we will be back on the 2nd of January right so let's say that again so the next and last live stream and video from us pretty much of this year will be next Sunday which is also the fourth advent yes yeah, so if you have suggestions for something fun for us to do leave them in the comments in the in, in below so then maybe I don't know there's a challenge or something that we can do <laughs> that would actually be fun <laughs> have any ideas <laughs> just because you comment doesn't mean we're going to do it but it would be fun to read some ideas maybe we get inspiration there yeah <laughs> now let's dive into some stats of course we need to share some youtube stats with you so you can actually be part of the growth and what we've experienced this year yeah, and I think numbers always speak a, um, Louder paint, than a, paint words. a clearer picture sometimes. Correct, yeah. yeah. So we started 2022 with 11,300 subscribers. 11,329, if we want to be precise. Who's the German now? <laughs> and as we're recording this, it's the end of November. And right now we have surpassed the 28,000 subscribers. So potentially we could end the year at around 29,000. <gasps> that is so awesome. That means that we... Do you want to say something else? I was going to say the 30, I think, will be a bit too tough to crack this year. Yeah, well, if you are watching our video, videos constantly and you haven't subscribed, you can support us by clicking that big button that says button that says subscribe. Button <laughs> that says subscribe on our channel. Or if you watch it in another language, I don't know what the equivalent is. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but talking about subscribers, we actually reached our first milestone and that is on our road to a hundred thousand subscriber. Jen Sweet. really would like to have that play button. Yeah, I think it's so cool. I, I think it just speaks also to like you know a grown community and stuff. But anyways we reached our 25k first milestone and for that we had a super cool project where we actually launched limited edition t-shirts called the limited edition smoothly t-shirts <laughs> <laughs> and the money the profit that we gained from that project we donated to an NGO in Guatemala City which is my hometown that helps uh, with children education that are in need or the ones that are less privileged let's put it like that so if you want to know more about that project you can check the videos in our channel 
In terms of videos, so the most popular one when it comes to views of the videos released in 2022 was actually what is considered a good salary in Germany. That was actually quite surprising. I mean, if you think about it, it kind of makes sense because this is a big question that we all have. But when we relaunched it, we did not expect that one to be the most popular. No, but numbers, uh, numbers are always uh, interesting. Definitely. <laughs> now we'd like to talk about comments. Unfortunately, YouTube Studio, which is the app that we use to see statistics on our channel, does not provide a very good glimpse of comments in general. So I had to connect to the API and then do some calls and then some hacking. So this number is a P mal Daumen estimation, as Germans say, because I cannot have an accurate number. But according to my coding, <laughs> we had a total of around 4,961 comments this year in under all of our videos. And of course, I would like, I also wanted to know who are the top commenters. So here is a shout out to say thank you to all the top five commenters for 2022. Well, to everyone, first yes. of all, right? Thank because yes. we love to see your insights to um, yes. kind of like learn also from your experiences, um, also learn from your corrections. <laughs> we are not always 100% right, or maybe we'll miss out sometimes, sometimes regional differences. So thank Thank you please keep that going we we love to read feedback um and and also of course uh, love to hear uh what is most supportive love your insights and new ideas um so just keep it coming yes also additional to that your comments open our perspective to see other perspectives and i think there's nothing more beautiful in this world than having a topic and listening other perspectives and your comments i'm pretty sure help other viewers who they scroll down and read um they always get the sense of that as well and of course we always mention it before but i would like to iterate that um your kindness and your and your, how do you say this, your support with each other is, is very visible and the respect that you show as well. Thank you also for deleting those spam commenters. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing we can actively do. Um, it's just reactive because um, YouTube allows these spam comments to happen. But whenever you see them and if you report them as spam, that is very good. And, and thank you for your support in that. Now, can we talk about the top five comments? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, so here's the list. Number one, the trophy goes. No, there's no trophy. There's no trophy. <laughs> but thank you very much to Fanny. Oh my God, I think you have commented on every single one of our videos. It's always so nice to read your comments and we hope we get to meet you soon. In, in Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf, yes. <laughs> Number two, Ricky Nichols. Yes, also super nice to hear your comments from the US and your perspective on things. Always very insightful. Definitely, now, yes. Number three is, I know we like you like to be called Joe, but your username is Turjo. Actually or Turjo. changed recently from yes. Rifa to Turjo. Yes, or yeah. Turjo. We don't know how to pronounce yeah. it really. I'm pronouncing it Let's Spanish. Let's just call you Joe. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Joe, also for your insights and your comments. Number four is Rishi Rush. Hope that was pronounced properly. <laughs> and you also always share um, your experience, so which is a um, beautiful, different culture. I keep going, please. Yes, and also thank you to Anna Braudo, another Dusseldorfer. Go oh, Dusseldorf. Thank you also for your comments and for your insights. We enjoy read them, reading them very much as well. Now with regards to coffees, for anyone not knowing what I'm talking about is that we have a platform enabled called coffee.com. Yes, it's spelled a bit awkwardly, but it's pronounced coffee, right? Where you can um, support our channel via a virtual coffee mm -hmm. slash with a donation. And this year we have received 394 coffees. That is an amazing number. That is more than one per day. Thank you so very much, especially if we consider that some of these coffees were like several coffee in one donation. So thank you so much. We use that kind of money of donations that you give to us, for example, to improve here our studio. Since we moved to the office, we struggled a lot with the, the sound and the echo, as you might have heard. Yes. So we actually invested in sound panels and new microphones. We hope the sound is better because we know sound is one of the most important features. Yeah. Um, and that, for example, is something that we um, were able to do because of your donations. Yes. Also, we invested in lights and other like lights as well. Well, I already said lights, but I meant <laughs> these big lights that we have and then some background lights. So yeah, thank you very much very much. And if you don't know what we're like, if you don't know how to access this, you simply can go to simplegermany.com slash coffee. And there you will land on our coffee.com page where you can, if you want to also donate a coffee for us. And we would like to give a massive shout out to those coffee subscribers. Let's call them the coffee smoothlers, coffee smoothlers yeah. <laughs> that support us every month through coffee.com. You can actually not only give a one-time donation, but you can do a recurring donation. So here are the nine monthly subscribers that we would like to give a massive thank you to. First off, there are Rick, uh, Rick, Nick and Rika all the way from Australia. Thank you very much. Uh, we hope you're having fun packing in the down in the land down under. <laughs> exactly. It's time for you to move soon, right? Next year? Yes, we think so. Number two is Fanny. Thank you again for providing us uh, a coffee every month. Then we have Lauren. You were actually the very first. So a special thank you to you. And I think you're also based here in Dusseldorf, if, uh, if we read your comments correctly, right? <laughs> 
Also, thank you to Gokulnat. To Jeff. To Jan and Wes. To Narain, who we unfortunately didn't have the chance yet to meet to pick up your smoothie shirt. You're also based here in Düsseldorf, right? Thank you to Fabio. And to Bill. Yeah. And again, thank you very much to everyone that supported us even one time or recurring coffees. Now we want to introduce a brand new member to our team. Okay, she's not full time and okay, yes, she's a freelancer. <laughs> and that is Julia, our video editor. So we also want to give a massive shout out and introduce her to you. Right, Julia joined us in September. She is a wizard when it comes to video editing. And we realized that we need support. We need help yes. because to be honest, YouTube was um, kind of like an all consuming task. Uh, after recording, we went into preparing the next videos and then we recorded the next videos. <laughs> so any other task that we actually wanted to do um, in terms of new content, other projects to um, yeah, provide even more resources for you kind of like fell on the back burner. And we would like to change that, AKA focus a little bit more again on the website. Yeah, so that's when Julia came into play and I must say like her video editing skills has been just beyond what I could have possibly done. So that's amazing. She's from Austria, speaks amazing German. And English. <laughs> and English, so that's a massive pro. So ever since September, it's her magic wizardness that have made our videos look so cool. So now what do we plan for 2023? There are some big plans. Of course, I mean, plans are always a great start. Uh, let's see which ones of these will actually become reality, right? <laughs> we hope all of them, right? But <laughs> You can dream big. <laughs> <laughs> now, the first one we want to mention is not a completely new topic. We've teased it before, but now we actually want to be serious about it. And that is our smoothly tour. Whee! <laughs> that is right. So we plan on, what did we say? End of May, beginning of June-ish. We don't have the exact dates yet. We want to plan, we plan to do a smoothly tour, meaning we will visit five of the top most international cities in Germany. And that would be, let's see if I remember, Stuttgart, München, Munich, um, Hamburg, Dusseldorf, of course, and Berlin. Berlin, obviously. <laughs> like, I what mean. am I missing? Yeah, <laughs> Berlin, of course, yeah. So uh, we, will, we don't know exactly how and what we're going to do. What we do know is that we want it to be as intimate as we had it before for our meetup here in Dusseldorf. That is to allow us to have the chance to really interact with you and actually spend time together. And you can ask your questions uh, and then we can answer and then we can get to know you also a little bit better. You can all get to know each other, maybe find new friends in your city or surrounding area. Yes. Right. So it will be intimate, meaning maybe you know, there will be a rush to the seats available again, just like this year. We don't know yet when we'll announce it. We will announce it on YouTube. Um, like we said, end of May, beginning of June is uh, are some dates we are looking at. Um, but the moment that becomes more concrete, you will hear from us. Yes, and of course, we'll let you know with time in advance for those of you who plan in advance. <laughs> Another project on our list is to actually tackle what we call the extended CV guide for Germany. Right. And we know a lot of you actually struggle to find a job or even get an interview to when applying for jobs in Germany, even though you're super qualified and whatnot. And that might have to do with the cultural differences. So we already have videos and we have an article on our website talking about this, but we want to take this to the next level. Especially because we have noticed that the um, software for to creating a CV um, in our guide and then the video we talk about is no longer the most accurate to German standards. So instead of, you know, just trying to find the next best, we thought, how about we create the best yeah. um, CV template plus an extensive guide to really understand also the thinking behind it. And that we will uh, want to release in the beginning let's say the first month of 2023 in our own shop. Next thing on our project is to redesign our website. So I designed that website way back when. Oh my God, it feels ages ago. But if you think about it, it's only been two years. Yeah, plus you did a little redesign already at the beginning of this year. That is very true. And then the very focus at the beginning was to make it as fast as possible. And we think we have reached that point. And now is the time to make it as searchable and browsable as possible. We want simplegermany.com to also be that kind of like Wikipedia that you can search any Anything related to German life and, and integration topics. <laughs> and then there is one more very big project, which is a little bit more personal, but yet you might notice it uh, in the background of our videos because that will change yet again yes. in the future, not directly, yeah. um, because we are actually moving for good. <gasps> chon, chon, chon. Chon, chon, chon. Where are we going? Now, from certain videos where we you actually asked us, would you ever consider to leave this love? Our answer was yes. <laughs> you know. Um, so we actually took some time throughout this year um, to 
to let's say reassess to rethink of what is important what we value in life and we have come to the conclusion that yes we do need to move because you've heard us rant about our apartment <laughs> enough in other videos it's time to to do that step um, we also realized the office is nice but we would like to have it at home mm -hmm. it's just a smoother work experience <laughs> and we have come to the conclusion that we are moving to within Yes. Yes. At the end, we're yes. not leaving Dusseldorf. Multiple reasons. We love the community that we have grown, like our friends and people that are here already. The city is just so amazing. We have a whole video talking about why we love Dusseldorf so much. Um, and it's it feels like home, right? And although we do wish it had more mountains, we can always travel to the south, to the Bavaria area to, you know, explore the mountains there. Um, and we just love Dusseldorf's yeah. life so much. We've come to the conclusion that Dusseldorf is our home. Yes. So we still remain in Dusseldorf, but as I would say starting February 2023-ish, you will start uh, seeing a different background. So don't think it's going to be an immediate thing. It's going to take some videos to get there. Um, but yeah, so don't be shocked. <laughs> So we hope that 2022 was amazing for you as well. Of course, we all had challenges during this year. However, we like to focus on the positive things and we hope that 2023 will be just as smoothly for you as well. If you're curious why we love Dusseldorf so much, make sure to click on the video here on the left. Until next time, cheese!